in this video, we'll be looking at scalar and vector resolutes. Question 1a. If a equals 2i plus 3j minus k and b equals 3i minus 4j plus 2k, find the scalar resolute of a in the direction of b. And we have to have a look at this situation. It's good to draw a diagram. So there's our two vectors. Vector A is made up of two components, a horizontal and vertical one. And what we need to work out is vector A dotted with vector B hat. The first thing we're going to do is define vectors A and B. So A, we're going to use the assign key, is assigned to control square brackets. And then we're going to just type in 2 comma 3 comma minus 1 and press enter. It's a nice quick way of defining the vectors. And vector B, so B, control, and a template there for assign to. We need the square brackets, and we're going to type in 3 comma minus 4 comma 2 and press enter. Now what we have to do is we find, now what we have to do is press the menu. We're going to go to matrix and vector. We press the up arrow because it brings us to the vector menu. We press select that. We want to get the dot product number three. And then we're going to put in vector A, comma. And we have to go back to menu. That'll find the unit vector number seven. Press the up arrow. We can type C to select that. And then we want to have the unit vector, which is number one. And then we want to put vector B in there and press enter. So the scalar resolute of vector A in the direction of B is minus 8 root 29 divided by 29. Question 1B. If A and B vectors, which we already defined before, we now need to find the vector resolute of A perpendicular to B. So there's our starting vectors again, A and B. There's our now vector components, horizontal and vertical. We now need to work out A dot B hat times vector B hat. And then once we work that out, we would then subtract it from vector A to work out the component which is perpendicular to B. I'm going to take vector A. I have to subtract that. Now what I can do, I can go up in the history, so I need to take the dot product of A unit vector V, which is a nice quick way of doing it. Then we need to multiply that by unit vector B. So menu, seven, and up arrow, C, the vector, and we want one for unit vector, and we're going to put in vector B and press enter. So we have to realize here that 82 on 29 is the I component, plus 55 on 29 is the J component, minus 13 on 29 is the K component of our vector. Question two, let A equal 3I plus MJ minus 2K and B equals m squared i minus j plus 2k, where m is an integer constant. If the scalar resolute of a in the direction of b is 2 root 21 on 7, the value of m is, well, we've got a multiple choice, and we need to try to work that out. So again, we have our diagram for the scalar resolute. We'll go to the calculator, so we've got to work out a dot unit vector b. We have to let that equal 2 root 21 on 7, and then solve for m. So this time I'm going to put in a new problem. So doc, insert, new problem, and a calculator. This is so that we're going to be redefining two vectors, a and b. And if we want to go back in the exam to our first problem, we might want to revisit that. So I'm going to put 
I'm going to enter the data a slightly different way. Control, square bracket, so it was 3, comma, M, comma, minus 2. And I'm going to go outside the bracket, and this time I'm going to use the store feature and put A, and then press Enter. So for vector B, control, bracket, and we've got m squared, comma, minus 1, comma, 2. And we go outside the bracket, and we can go control, store, as vector b. This time, we need to solve our equation. So menu, algebra, 1, solve, and we'll have to go menu, 7, up arrow for C, and we need to do the dot product, which is 3, and we have A, comma, unit vector B, so menu, matrix and vector, vector, and unit vector 1, and we want B in there. And we get outside the brackets. Equals. Control. Divide. 2 root 21. On 7. Comma. M. Okay, we get two values there. We get minus 1.486 or m equals 2. Let's go back and have a look at the question. Okay, so we have to find an integer value and therefore the answer would be 2.